welcome everyone to Tower Hill State Park. This is located up on the Wisconsin River. So yeah, out here, I'm uh, gonna try to get some really good pictures over the course of this. Uh, not 100% sure what to expect, but stay tuned and I guess we'll find out together. Okay, so I came across what's gonna be my first composition here. Not 100% sure this is gonna work out, and hopefully I don't get too muddy, but I've got this log down here with some ice. And I'm gonna try to get down here and see if I can do something really cool with that and the river in the background. Oh, I think I'm safe-ish. It's at least frozen mud. Okay, so got this all framed out. I uh, got the log kind of running on the bottom third line and then on the top third line, I've got the horizon. So definitely gonna need to focus stack this because I'm using a 28 millimeter lens. Uh, so gonna have to take a couple different focus points and I am also going to need to use exposure bracketing. So I'm turning on five stops of exposure bracketing so that hopefully I'll be able to get the detail in the clouds. And let's start this off. So we're gonna do three different focus points, one on the log, one on the river, and one on the trees in the background. Okay, well here's hoping I was able to capture what I saw in this. And after a bit of editing and doing some focus stacking in Photoshop, here's the final result. Oh, so a little ways down the trail at Tower Hill State Park here and came across what's going to be my second composition. Uh, we've got these nice uh, wooden steps leading up the hill and honestly I just like what it's doing. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is center the steps in the frame and kind of break some rules of composition and put them right in the center because honestly trying to frame it up that's what I like the best and sometimes you just got to do what you think is best. So have five stops of exposure bracketing on and F9 and looks like I'm at one fifth of a second so definitely had to use a tripod because there's no way to handhold this shot if you want to see a review of the tripod i'm using i'll throw a link up in the corner right now i guess gonna give this a shot and here's hoping it turns out good so after some editing here it is and hope you enjoy Well, I've made it a little bit farther down the trail and came across this really just pretty mossy old stone rock wall, it looks like, uh, but it is just gorgeous. So uh, unfortunately, I got this metal fence off on one side of me, but I'm going to ignore that and just focus right on this wall. Uh, so what I'm doing is just uh, completely filling this frame 100% with the wall. Uh, I've got exposure bracketing on five stops and it looks like I'm shooting this at one quarter of a second. Uh, so definitely since I'm at 28 millimeters and up really close, yet again, this is another image I'm definitely gonna have to focus stack because I don't wanna lose any detail in this moss. Yeah, probably gonna shoot three or four different focus points, just kind of working my way along the wall. Ah, 
Okay, and I think we got them all, so definitely gonna need to use some Photoshop to stack these, but after some editing, I hope you like the result. Oh, so came across another beautiful composition here. Uh, we got this little uh, entry or offshoot of the Wisconsin River, not sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely, the Wisconsin River is like right over there, so really close by. But what we've got going is this really just slow flowing water and there's ice that is formed on all the sides and it's just created this little winding stream through the ice. Absolutely love it, it is just so beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to shoot this in a 4.3 composition with exposure bracketing and going to try to get the stream to kind of weave up from the bottom right corner up to about the third point, about the top third on the left. Uh, so yeah, going to shoot this and I think I'm only going to want one exposure uh, and I don't want to focus stack it because I think I want to blur the foreground leading into this, but I am going to shoot additional shots so that I have the option if I decide I want it in post. Okay, and there's enough exposures that I should be able to get the shot I'm looking for out of this. Uh, but yeah, after some editing, here it is and hope you enjoy. Okay, so I came across another really neat composition. Uh, definitely gonna shoot this in 4.3. Uh, but what I've got is there's this gorgeous cliff face and the river running like right along beside it. And I'm using a little bit of this bank to come in uh, to two thirds of the frame at the bottom. Due to the fact that there is amazing, amazing reflections, I want to make this water a little bit smoother and take out some of the ripples in it. So I've chosen to shoot this at f16 and a third of a second exposure so that hopefully it'll be able to do what I need and smooth that water out. Okay, so definitely gonna shoot this at a couple different focus points just to be 100% sure that I get this photo exactly what I want, uh, but may possibly end up focus stacking it because I definitely do not want any shred of this out of focus. Okay, and hopefully that's gonna turn out good, but after some editing, here's the end result. Okay, so I've come across what is definitely gonna be my last composition. We are losing the sun really fast here. 
uh, but there's still a little bit of color in the sky in this gorgeous gazebo. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is shoot the gazebo. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get any of the color, but I'm really hoping. So I got exposure bracketing set really far apart and I'm focused just right on the gazebo and going to try to shoot this. Uh, looks like I started at a quarter of a second. I'm also going to try a 16-9 composition of this so that hopefully one of the two will get some color. Okay, well here's hoping one of those turned out, but regardless, I, whichever one I like better after editing, here's the final shot and hope you like it. Okay, well that is going to wrap up this adventure. It's been a gorgeous day out at Tower Hill State Park. I uh, gotta love warm days in the winter. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed, and if, you've been, if you have, definitely, as always, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and hopefully I will see you next time.